Good day. Welcome to another day of virtual learning experience with my first step. At the end of this video, you will be able to identify the different sickness resulting from exposure to decaying materials. Sickness resulting from exposure to different decaying materials. To dispose our waste properly, we classify the materials into biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Biodegradable are materials that decay and non-biodegradable are materials that do not decay. Disposing waste properly prevents us from getting sick and makes our environment safe and clean. Disease Disease is an illness that affects a person, animal, or plant. It is also a condition that prevents the body and mind from working normally. Decaying materials are wastes that may cause harm to one's health. There are common ailments that may result from being exposed to decaying materials. Some of these are allergy, cholera, malaria and dengue, typhoid, dysentery, skin disease such as ringworm and scabies. Malaria and dengue can be spread by a specific type of mosquito. Anopheles mosquito is known to spread malaria. Aedes aegypti is known to spread dengue. Typhoid fever. Typhoid fever is characterized by onset of high fever, diarrhea, vomiting, and headache. Typhoid is a waterborne disease. People who drink polluted water are more likely to acquire this disease. Dysentery Dysentery is also known as bloody diarrhea. This is a waterborne disease that is transmitted to a person when they drink polluted water. Ringworm is a common fungal infection. Scabies is caused by mites. If untreated, these mites can live on the skin for months and cause redness and itchiness of the skin. Proper disposal of waste should be observed in areas near dump sites, esteros or canals, to prevent from too much exposure to garbage that will result to danger. Good hygiene practices such as washing your hands and regular bathing are a few ways to avoid diseases caused by decaying materials. The five R's are very important in managing our waste materials. The first R is reduce. Reducing waste is the most important thing we can do. By reducing waste, we avoid the unnecessary use of resources such as materials, energy, and water. It means there is less waste to manage. The second R is reuse. It is the next most important thing we can do is reuse waste materials. That way, it doesn't go in the rubbish and end up in the landfill. It also means you don't have to buy a new product. That saves you money and saves the energy that and resources that would have been used to make the new product. The third R is Recycle. Recycling involves some form of processing of waste materials to produce another product. For example, recycling plastic bottles to make buckets. The fourth R is Repair. If we have some broken materials at home, 
you can just repair them instead of throwing them away. The fifth R is recover. This is the recovery of waste without any pre-processing. For example, waste oils that cannot be refined for reuse in vehicles can be burnt for energy recovery. Recovering the energy from waste oil reduces our dependence on coal and imported oil. Recovery has to do with composting decaying materials and turn them into organic fertilizer.